Good morning, dear children. Hope you remember the previous day we were discussing with the fourth unit, first lesson, and we have finished the four paragraphs there. Hope you remember all the four paragraphs, and we are going on with the continuation of the lesson today. I am going to read the fifth paragraph. Listen and read with me. Paragraph number five. The previous year, Albert's parents had moved to Milan. and left their son with relatives after prolonged discussion einstein got his wish to continue his education in german speaking switzerland in a city which was more liberal than munich an year before albert einstein got 15 and he stopped the school in munich his parents had moved to milan and left albert einstein with the relatives and after a very long discussion einstein got admission in a german speaking switzerland college and it was more liberal than munich it makes very sure that albert einstein was not going to stop his studies but he wanted to get a better opportunity or a better college which is liberal to make his ideas vibrant to continue his studies Now next paragraph sixth paragraph Einstein was highly gifted in mathematics and interested in physics and after finishing school he decided to study at a university in Zurich but science wasn't the only thing that appealed to the dashing young man with the walrus mustache Einstein had keen interest in mathematics and he loved physics also and after finishing his school he decided to study in Zurich and there he was not at all choosing to opt science only but he was going to get a chance to explore his abilities his talents and all that is the major reason why he selected a university in zurich and changed his location into that place seventh paragraph he also felt a special interest in a fellow student mileva marik whom he found to be a clever creature the young serb had come to switzerland because the university in zurich was one of the few in europe where women could get degrees Einstein saw in her an ally against the Philistine those people in his family and at the university with whom he was constantly at odds the couple fell in love letters survive in which they put their affection into words mixing science with tenderness wrote Einstein how happy and proud i shall be when we both have brought our works on relativity to a victorious conclusion and when he started in the new university in zurich automatically he could find another person whose name was mileva marik and he fell in love with that person and she was a person who chose that university just because that was one of the few universities in europe where women will get degrees or higher study facilities at that time only boys were provided with higher study facilities only very few universities were providing education for girls at that time even in europe so in that condition that is the reason why this girl has chosen zurich the university in zurich and they fall in love with each other they shared letters with uh, their love and feelings along with the science mixed in their letters and here einstein says it was really happy when we were together and we were working out with relativity in victorious conclusion now the next paragraph i'm going to read listen and read with me the eighth paragraph in 1900 at the age of 21 albert einstein was a university graduate and unemployed he worked as a teaching assistant gave private lessons and usually secured a job in 1902 as a technical expert in the patent office in bern while he was supposed to be assessing 
other people's inventions einstein was actually developing his own ideas in secret he is said to have jokingly called his desk drawer at work the bureau of theoretical physics in 1900 at the age of 21 albert einstein became a graduate he completed his graduation and he came out of the university but he was not employed he tried a lot of jobs mainly like in teaching profession and did some private jobs also and in 1902 he became a technical expert in the patent office in bern and he was expected to assess the people's inventions but at the same time einstein was doing his own ideas his own uh, secret ideas were being developed and he called his table the desk drawer as the bureau of theoretical physics but which means he was not sitting simply even after completing his studies he was continuing his research he was continuing with his theories all those things and even after getting a job also he was not stopping with that job but was going on with his interest also i'm going to read the next paragraph the ninth paragraph listen and read with me one of the famous papers of 1905 was einstein's special theory of relativity according to which time and distance are not absolute indeed two perfectly accurate clocks will not continue to show the same time if they come together again after a journey if one of them has been moving very fast relative to the other from this followed the world's most famous formula which describes the relationship between mass and energy e equals mc square in 1905 einstein's theory on special theory of relativity was being published and it was telling that the time and distance are not absolute which means if two clocks which are rounding the universe in two different speeds when they come together in the same time it will not be showing the same time that's what einstein was telling and because of that theory Einstein developed the equation E equals mc square. Hope you also have learned this theory in your physics classes. If you have not learned this is going to be a very important theory in your physics chapter also. We'll continue the lesson. I'm going to read the 10th paragraph. Listen and read. While Einstein was solving the most difficult problems in physics his private life was unraveling. Albert had wanted to marry Melva right after finishing his studies but his mother was against it she thought Melva who was 3 years older than her son was too old for him she was also bothered by Melva's intelligence she is a book like you her mother said einstein put the wedding off einstein was always busy with his profession but at the same time his personal life was not at all comfortable he wanted to marry melva but at the same time his mother never wanted melva to be a partner for her son because she was 3 years elder than her son and more than that melva's intelligence also was troubling her his ma- mother and his mother said that she is also a book like you when people with the same character when they go together she was really scared something wrong would happen in his life and because of his mother's compulsion he stopped the decision to get married with melva 11th paragraph the pair finally married in january 1903 and had two sons but a few years later the marriage faltered melva meanwhile was losing her intellectual ambition and becoming an unhappy housewife after years of constant fighting the couple finally divorced in 1919 einstein married his cousin elsa the same year after a long struggle and fight in the year 1903 and in the month of january einstein and melva got married but that was not a very happy married life because a very few years later having two children two sons melva was uh, maintaining herself as 
losing her intellectual ambitions and becoming an unhappy housewife all those things made a lot of troubles in the family and she they were maintaining a really unhappy life and at last after a long fight in 1919 they got divorced and in the same year itself einstein married his cousin elsa i'm going to read the 12th paragraph listen and read with me paragraph number 12 Einstein's new professional chapter coincided with his rise to world fame. In 1915 he had published his general theory of relativity which provided a new interpretation of gravity. An eclipse of the sun in 1919 brought proof that it was accurate. Einstein had correctly calculated in advance the extent to which the light from fixed stars would be deflected through the sun's gravitation field. The newspapers proclaimed his work as scientific revolution. Whatever problems were happening in his personal life that was not deeply affecting Einstein as a professional, he was continuing his research and all those things until 1915. he could have a great stepping stone in his career and that was he has published the theory of general theory of relativity and in 1919 the an eclipse of the sun a solar eclipse in 1919 proved that what einstein said in 1915 in the general theory of relativity is right it gave a new dimension to the gravitation theory and all those things the newspapers have proclaimed einstein's work as a scientific revolution which means the newspapers also agreed that what einstein had done is something really amazing or fantabulous paragraph number 13 Einstein received the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921. He was showered with honors and invitations from all over the world and lauded by the press. No doubt Einstein's talent was being recognized by the entire world that he got the Nobel Prize in 1921. He was awarded with the Nobel Prize. So you know what will happen if somebody is awarded with such a great prize. people will be behind him there will be invitations for award functions and all those things press will be always behind him to shoot what he is doing what he is going to speak how he is going to explain things that's what really happened in the life of einstein also paragraph number 14 when the nazis came to power in germany in 1933 einstein immigrated to the united states Five years later, the discovery of nuclear fission in Berlin had American physicists in an uproar. Many of them had fled from fascism, just as Einstein had, and now they were afraid the Nazis could build and use an atomic bomb. The political issues which were going on around the world was affecting scientists like einstein also the nazism the influence of nazism in germany was really troubling einstein that he migrated to united states in 1933 he moved to united states america and after 5 years his discovery of nuclear fission in berlin uh, had american physicist in an uproar which means the american scientists have uh, found out the nuclear fission technology that they got an upper hand on the other countries and many of them many of the scientists from throughout the world were really scared about it and those scientists who were working in germany settled in germany started fleeing from that place and like what einstein had done and i including einstein everybody were afraid that one or the other day nazis would build an atomic bomb and use it against the other people i'm going to read the next paragraph paragraph number 15 At the urging of a colleague, Einstein wrote a letter to the American president 
Franklin D. Roosevelt on 2nd August 1939 in which he warned a single bomb of this type exploded in a port might very well destroy the whole port together with some of the surrounding territory. His words did not fail to have an effect. The Americans developed the atomic bomb in a secret project of their own and dropped it on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945. Albert Einstein and his friends really were afraid about an atomic attack, atomic bomb attack, and once in August 2, 1939, he wrote to American President Franklin D. Roosevelt and he said whatever is happening if a single bomb of this type is exploded in a port, it might destroy the entire port and some nearby territories, some nearby places also. And whatever he said, it became true very soon because in 1945, uh, Americans have exploded with atomic bomb in the cities Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Hope you have learned it in the lessons of history. In 1945, America has destroyed the cities of Japan. Hiroshima and Nagasaki were being attacked with uh, atomic bombs. And this was being expected by Einstein a few years back also. Can you imagine that? He was having such a deep imagination or such a deep passion in the world of science that he could understand what is going to happen in the coming years. He was able to foresee the things, the developments which are going to happen in the world of science. Now paragraph number 16, the second last paragraph. Einstein was deeply shaken by the extent of the destruction. This time he wrote a public missive to the United Nations. In it, he proposed the formation of a world government unlike the letter to Roosevelt. This one made no impact. But... Over the next decade, Einstein got ever more involved in politics, agitating for an end to the arms buildup and using his popularity to campaign for peace and democracy. He got really shocked by the incidents happened around him and he started uh, again informing the authority. This time he wrote a letter to the President of United Nations and it had not much impact to like what the other letter had done but he never stopped attempts he started making awareness programs and campaigns against wars and started to work for peace and democracy the last paragraph paragraph number 17 when einstein died in 1955 at the age of 76 he was celebrated as a visionary and world citizen as much as scientific genius. The great genius died at the age of 76 in the year 1955. And by that time, he was being celebrated as a visionary. The entire world started recognizing him as a visionary and a world citizen as much as a scientific genius. Now... He was being recognized as a scientific genius by the entire world and being called as a world citizen and was being celebrated as a visionary also. These all were the recognitions which Einstein got by the time he got into his last time. Hope you understood the lesson very well. We're going to wind up the session. I'll share the notes in WhatsApp and... Be prepared to write the notes also. I'll be sharing all the question answers and extra questions in WhatsApp. Hope you understood and enjoyed the class. Thank you. Have a nice day.